I think we're starting to see signs that the Fed's thesis that the recent bout of inflation will, in fact, prove transitory, or at least we're seeing early signs of that. Looking at this morning's report, as you mentioned, the headline increase was startling, as expected, and it will likely remain at multi-decade highs through the end of the year. But if we look at the underlying momentum, particularly in the core, up just three-tenths of a percentage point, this is the weakest or the slowest monthly increase that we've seen since the first quarter. So it, it does suggest that at least we're seeing early indications of that second derivative decline, a slower pace of positive increase. And aside from this morning's report, something we've seen broad-based for several months now is the fact that a lot of these price pressures are really concentrated in some of these areas that have been hard hit by the virus and subsequent policies. So as the economy recalibrates, as we work through some of these supply chain disruptions, this is where the Fed says we will start to see those price pressures abate. And as you pointed out, we are starting to see that in at least several uh, or at least some categories. And Michael Farr, it might be an easier call for stock investors than bond investors, right? Because it seems like for the stock market, either way, they have some support. But for bond investors, a little bit tougher call. I think no question about that, Kelly. You know, what I see the market doing here is what I call pedal picking. You know, the old <laughs> she loves me, she loves me not. We, we, we go for those points of data that support our thesis. And the current data sort of support this idea that inflation could be indeed transitory. We are seeing things kind of slow down a little bit. And if that happens, and if the Fed tapers, then you see what? You're going to see a change in bonds that where the yields go higher, bond prices go lower because the Fed is going to stop buying as much. The other thing that you see is this shift between the growth and the FANG stocks and the great tech performance back to where we were at the beginning of the year, which was more of a value uh, performing, where value outperformed growth. So when rates go higher, we begin to discount those future cash flows for a lot of the tech stocks. We're seeing that sector in the NASDAQ today. We're seeing some of the other stocks, and more of the Dow stocks, show some strength. Is it real? Are we just pedal picking and saying we've got enough data points to support this thesis? Maybe. But the pendulum right now is swinging in favor of those that are saying that inflation would be transitory. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.